Well guys, here is a brand new Victoria 2 tutorial that I just thought of earlier today. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial, and this one would be interesting. Now, if someone has done this strategy before, let me know hand. But for right now, I'm the only one that seems to know this strategy, so I'm going to show it off right here. And this is what I'm affectionately going to call it, the Sphere Abuse Strategy, or SAS. <laughs> but anyways... The strategy is, this is a strategy that you can use for if you're playing a very weak country that, and you can't do any fighting yourself. And of course, for a joke for this one, I'm going to play Jan Malon or whatever they're pronounced. I was actually thinking about doing Iceland, but I figured Jan Malon would actually be a much better target too since they literally are nothing. 15 people, no army, no navy, no industry, nothing. They cannot expand whatsoever in terms of fighting on their own. They can't do shit. But, there is a way to exploit being sphered by someone. And to make this quicker, I'm going to quickly go over to UK. And I might, um, oops, there we go. So what you need to do is try and get sphered by a great power. In this case, I would probably do the British. Since, um, they're the closest great power to you. And be the, probably the most beneficial. Oh, that's right. Gotta go up to Milan. And start trying to get them to sphere. And try and fix the relationship too. All right, now for this for the rest of this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to um unpause and try and get them sphere before I continue off the video. So be right back. Okay, I'm finally back as I just sat around playing as you can until they sphered them, which I just managed to do. As let's see, yeah, right there. I'm now sphered by them, and now go over them. I forgot to do this. I should have done this beforehand. But you see, when a country spheres you it has a modifier that makes them more likely to ally you and likewise this if you see a country they're more likely to ally you so this makes it pretty much a guarantee that you can get an ally in most circumstances all right so got my alliance now so now the uk is ally me now let's say i want to attack someone you know what how about haiti for example let's see as long as they're not sphere okay they're still not sphere by the americans let's say we want to conquer um, Haiti as Yamelon. Now, of course, remember, keep this in mind. It's going to take a lot longer, too, since I just sphered right off the bat as the UK. Whereas, normally, it could take you years and years and years for, um, to actually get sphered. God, like when I did my Iceland game, that took to, like, the mid-18, like, 1850 before I was finally sphered by the UK. And if you're in the U.S., I mean, I'm um, the Americas. Getting sphered by the Americas is the best strategy. But depending on, like, who you are. Because I think the AI for sphering goes based upon, like, stronger countries or whatever. Like, America. I've done, like, Bol Bolivia twice. And every time I did them, America would not sphere them. It's like the 1870s. Paraguay, like, the same thing. I think Uruguay have tried them before and it's the same case. So, I don't know what you could do to make them more likely to sphere you other than getting stronger. But the best thing you can do is just... Increase your rank and hope for the best, but you might have to sit around and wait and hope for um, wait before you can do anything. But this strategy does work pretty well if you can't do anything for yourself. So now we got our Cosabelli on Haiti, as we'll go declare war, and as you can see, the UK will join us. Now this is not always the best um, strategy. You should always save beforehand just in case if they don't accept. And of course, the A UK is not necessarily the best. Um, a, um, ally to have since they have to do on um, mobile stuff I mean on um, naval stuff and AI is not really smart with noble naval transport but they're not being sphered by the Americans right now and they're very weak so it shouldn't be too hard for the UK to get this victory as where the where did our Navy go where did they go huh that's really over. but we're gonna keep filming until they at least win Haiti I'm curious where they're... Okay, well, that's one ship. That's not going to be really enough. Maybe the AI is being brain dead because... I know Haiti's weak, but one ship is just not going to be enough for transport. Oh, my God. They're actually going to do it. Yeah, well, bye-bye. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's the problem, unfortunately. You might have to actually consider restarts and a lot of that and just hope that the British don't fuck up, basically. But when you're a, a small, weak country like... Like, up here in the North Atlantic, the British are the best person to um, play with. I mean, I have to be sphered. Other than maybe the America, 
the Americans, but they're not likely to do that since you're not in North America. All right, that's a better idea with um two trans no I'm um, two troops, but and they have a uh uh wait uh wait oh there's a ch yeah there you go oh oh looks like they lost oh oh attack yeah maybe I should pick someone else under here because they're mountainous and they're not attacking smartly yeah that reminds me too like when I did my new my um Iceland game. When I first did my first attack on Mexico to take the Yucatan, it took me like five tries before the British finally succeeded. And the one time that they actually did succeed, I'm not kidding. Instead of like, you know, the smart strategy would be to do a naval invasion of the Yucatan. But no, they literally took their troops from Canada down to America and swooped down through Mexico. And it took them over five years to win that war. It was so dumb. All right, there you go. Now they're winning. There you go. Turn it, turn it around. But yeah, this strategy works pretty damn well. Almost consistently, but you should always save ahead of time before you do the war. I mean, begin the Cosmovelli just in case if they um don't help you or nothing like that. But in my experience, they usually would help you. So like if you're in the Americas, get the, try to get steered by the Americans, which you should and will eventually. Like, if you're in Western Europe, or like North Atlantic, try to get the British to support you. Um, and of course, if you're out in Asia, if Japan becomes civilized, try and get them. Otherwise, maybe try the British. Or depend, maybe if you're in Central Asia, try and get under Russia's sphere. Especially since Russia will try and conquer you around here in Central Asia. So you definitely want to get under their control. Maybe, it's probably not the best strategy, but for right now... At the beginning of the game, maybe if you're like in the Arabian Peninsula, Middle East and all that, maybe try to get the Ottomans or Russia to sphere you. Although the Ottomans will eventually probably lose strength, so Russia will probably be better in the long term. And then of course, like if you're in the Mediterranean, maybe have France, Austria, or Spain or something like that. But yeah, this strategy works pretty well. I've done it numerous times. Let's see, I've done it. I did for Columbia, um, Panama, that didn't really go as well because I didn't really formulate the strategy yet. I've done it as Cuba, I've done it as Iceland, I've done it, who I've done it as? I'm doing a game right now with Seacom, it's going really well with the Japanese helping out. Yeah, there's a lot of countries that um you could do this for, you should try it with everyone. This strategy does work pretty well. You just keep taking over territories, preferably the best places to take over is in the Americas. Low population, so they're not going to be too strong to take on. And, of course, they're in the Americas, so they'll get a lot of um, immigrant immigrants coming in. And they're civilized, so you can start building factories and start building yourself up. Keep building yourself up to your secondary power, and hopefully by time, if you're able to become a great power, you can um, defend yourself. Because once you become a great power, the, your great pow your sphere overlord will no longer sphere you. So, you got to get ready for that. They still could help, though, but... They're not, like, as guaranteed, like, otherwise. Hey, there you go! Ayan Melon, Haiti. Ain't that something? <laughs> All right, now, uh, ugh. ugh. I got too much infamy. I wonder if I can go something... Eh, fuck it. But, yeah, there you go. Ayan Melon, Haiti. And look at that. Now I can build two troops now. So, yeah. Melon just got stronger. Let's see. Can I maybe get some rank? Oh, I didn't get anything. Sad. But, yeah, this strategy works pretty well. And like I said, if someone formulated this and have like a name for it, let me know beforehand. But I've looked it up. I could not find anything. I'm calling it, um, um, Sphere Abuse Strategy. SAS. It's been very successful for me, and I hope this works for you. If you play very small country that can't defend themselves, because it's working very well in my eyes. So I hope you all enjoy this tutorial. And I hope this strategy works for you too, if you play weak countries.